Hello, ACCA performance management students. What is up? Steve Willis here. In this video, I'm going to help you get a pass on your upcoming exam. We are going to rock throughput accounting. I will take you through the past exam question thin. Now, if you like this video, if you'd like to get more help like this, check out my website. I've got more PM resources. All right, team, let's get started. I have question thin opened on my screen. This is a past exam question from a different era before the computer-based exams. And you can see it's a doozy. It's of the structure and difficulty that you'd see now in section C. We're going to do the first part here, throughput accounting ratio. We'll do it for all of the products, okay? So let's practice the throughput accounting ratio, and we're going to do it in the practice platform using a blank spreadsheet in the blank workspace. I know what you're thinking, people. Yeah, but Steve, they don't examine specialist management accounting techniques in Section C. That's only in A and B. Yet you are right. There's no reason we can't use any question to do a little bit of spreadsheet practice. So that's what we're going to do. So look in your, your question books, your revision banks. This question is in most of them. If you don't have it, check the link below and find the question there. I've given you a link to it. So friends, try this question on your own first. We're going to calculate the throughput accounting ratio for procedures A, B, and C. Pause the video while you do that and then come back here when you're done and we will compare our work. Welcome back. I am in the practice platform looking at a blank spreadsheet that I can use to practice any question that I want. So I've got the PDF open on my other screen. Let's go through this together. Now, there's a lot of information in that scenario. We know we're going for throughput accounting ratio. So before we even read the scenario, it's nice to make a template, get organized, and we can now make a shopping list of what we need. And we have three procedures. We've got procedure A, We've got procedure B, we've got procedure C. A throughput accounting ratio would be the throughput contribution per hour divided by the other factory costs per hour. The product would be the throughput accounting ratio. Guys, those abbreviations are fine. They're standard abbreviations. The marketing team will understand what you're doing here, okay? now. It's going to be way too much to build up the throughput contribution per hour in each cell. It's also a risky approach. When you do mega formulas, it's more likely that you'll make a mistake. It's harder to, to, to check your work. It's harder to actually copy paste um, functions. So there's no reason. And in fact, the best thing to do would be to go downstairs. Let's make a section for throughput contribution per hour. And how do we get throughput contribution per hour? Well, we need to find a selling price, right? We need to find the direct materials, so less the direct materials, mats, materials, the marketing team's gonna know that. The difference, throughput contribution, okay? Time on the bottleneck resource. Divide by that, and we get the throughput contribution per hour. Let's double click on the column separator there. Okay. So prices are given to us. That's a 2700, a 3500 and a 4250. So Now, we have three material Three types of direct material there. So we can now do a little quick formula here to build that up. The first one is a 700 plus 350 plus 5.6. All of the costs of doing the procedure. Okay. 
Next one's 800 plus 40 plus 5.6. Last one, 1,000 plus 45 plus 5.6. You could have broken that down into another working if you wanted to. That's where I draw the line between setting up a side working and doing a calculation right in the cell. And the throughput contribution will be equal to one minus the other. Price minus direct materials. Copy, paste, paste. Okay. And time on the bottleneck for each of the procedures. We can look at the surgeon's time. They told us that. That was a very nice uh, freebie given to us. That's 0 0.75 hours, 1 hour, 1.25 hours. Okay. Now, the throughput contribution per hour will be equal to column row, row 10 divided by row 11. Copy, paste, paste. Guys, looking a little cluttered. Let's help the markers. Let's be professional. Right, you wouldn't get a mark for this, but I can't read it. The marker can't read it. So I'm going to put it to two decimal places and neater uh, thousand separator. Okay, there we go. And we can now use relative cell addressing. We can set A, uh, C3 to C12. And if we don't use dollar signs, do that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to grab the whole spreadsheet. I'm going to format the whole thing. There we go. Okay, the next thing to do is get the other factory costs and I can just come right over here to the right and do that. Let's label our work OFC per hour. Okay, and we have some fixed salaries. Now I don't want to type all of those into one big equation. I might make a typo, so I'm just going to do it this way, right? 45, 100, etc. And then we have the rent, which is 250,000. Okay, so those are my fixed costs. And we can do an underline to show the next cell below that is a total. And that would be the quote unquote other factory costs. Yes, it's a ho hospital, but that's the terminology. So we can do the use the sum function and grab every cell above that in a lovely little range and and double click on that column separator okay now we would like to divide by the total hours that they just told us which is 1800 and we have the other factory cost per hour that would be equal to the 548 divided by the 1.8. And oops, it's an 1880. My bad. 1880. There we go. Now it's fixed. Now it's lovely. And we can set cell C4 equal to H12. And now if we park a little dollar sign in between the column, in the row that is called a an absolute cell address now I can copy copy it and it will stick and divide one by the other we divide we divide the throughput contribution per hour by the other factory cost per hour and we get the throughput accounting ratio I can just drag that across and Friends, there we have it. Throughput accounting uh, ratio in the spreadsheet tool. Remember, you won't get a section C version of this. This comes up in section A and section B, but what the heck, we just practiced with the spreadsheet tool. There you have it, friends. Throughput accounting ratio in the spreadsheet tool.
We could apply a little bit of light formatting. You wouldn't get any marks for this, but just to make it a little more presentable for you guys. Maybe I could center that. Let me bold out the key numbers that the marking team would theoretically be looking for. Just having a little fun here, fun polishing. Okay, no marks for this. All right, I'll stop geeking out on my spreadsheet now and say goodbye. Guys, there you have it. Good luck on your upcoming performance management exam. If you found this helpful, don't be shy. Throw down a like and subscribe for more videos. Steve, signing out.